All right, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go, we're going again, right? Listen up, I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna tell you this. Everything, everything that you've dreamed about or you dream about either flourishes or dies right here, right in your mind. That's where it either flourishes and takes off or it just dies. Because you either, either you think about it every day and you put something together to go get it or you just let that thought go in passing. So everything you want to do, everything you've ever wanted to do, either flourishes or dies right in your mind. Right in your mind, because either it consumes you and you think about it all the time until you have to do something about it, or you just let that thought go right by you and you let that dream go right past you and you go back to punching that keyboard at work sending those emails, filling out your reports that you hate doing, that you hate doing. So everything that you, that you, everything that you dream of doing flourishes or dies in your mind. So think about it. And I mean, think about it. There's two ways. So think about this. It will consume you, like, right? Helping people, this is no joke. Helping people, right? Giving to people consumes me. That's why I make videos. I do this for free. I'm giving you, I'm giving this away because I think it could help one person. So I keep doing it, right? My clothing company, right? I give money back to schools. Not, not that I haven't made a dollar off my clothing company in three, three something years. But people say, well, that's stupid. No, because I wasn't in it to make money. It was a passion project. I did it to help bring awareness and raise funds for school. If one day I make money off of it, great. But that wasn't the motivating factor. I did it because I wanted to help people who needed help, which were the kids. And because the teachers had to spend their own money, right? Kids were getting cheated because teachers didn't have enough money to spend because they don't make enough money. Teachers make $30,000 a year, that's absurd to me. We're talking about the people, the people that, that spend the most time with our kids, the most time with our youth, make the least amount of money, the people who can make the biggest impact in their lives outside of their parents. So they weren't able to do it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna create a movement. And it hasn't been a movement. And everybody around the world has, has jumped on board. But it's a passion project that consumes, helping people consumes me, which is why I speak to this camera for no other reason than I hope it helps one person. I hope it helps one person do something they love to do, do something that they never thought they could do until they heard me speak. Right? That's why I do it. That's why once in a while I go to the field and I work with kids for free because I know some kids can't afford it. I can't always do that, and I can't always do it with that same kid. I say, hey, I can't do it 20 times, but you know what I got today? We can do it today, and I can work with you. I can't do it every time, right, because it's not fair to the people that pay me. But that's not the point. The point is, when you can help, if you can help, this is me, when I could help, if I could help, I'm going to help, because that's what's inside of me. Now, if one day that turns into a business that just explodes, that's in and of itself. That just happens. I thought about giving back, so I gave back. And then I started speaking to people, right? And I spoke for free, and they thought, man, this kid, this guy, he needs to go speak somewhere else. And, and, and then paychecks from speaking started coming in, right? But I started off just with the idea of helping. The, the, the original MAS clothing originally was called Motivate and Support. That was the name. The name was created to, I wanted to go into schools, right? And I wanted to speak to the schools. I wanted to get these kids going, show them there was dream, show them there was something in their life they could have, no matter where they came from. And I wanted to support the teachers to help to get the supplies to the kids, motivate and support, right? But it wasn't, you know what happened? I saw some clothes, it wasn't a cool enough name, so I changed it to make a statement because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a statement. I wanted, and the statement was this, not that look at my clothes, they're cool. It's that I'm gonna do this because this is what I do. Whether I make money off it or not, 
It's what I do. It's who I am. So find what consumes you. Back to you now. Find what consumes you. Think about it because everything you do in this life, every dream you ever had, flourishes or dies in your mind. Flourishes or dies in your mind because either you think about it or you don't. Either it consumes you or it's a fleeting passing thought. So what are you thinking about? I guarantee you right now, you are where you are because that's what you think about. You are right where you are in life, just like I am, because that's where your mind is every day. That's where your mind is. So if you wanna, if you wanna make something flourish, if you wanna, if you have an idea and you wanna make it flourish, it's gotta consume you. That's the only, only reason you make a change, the only way to make a change is to find something that consumes you. I've noticed on, I've noticed my cousin Carrie on Facebook, she's been doing the Shakeology stuff and she's been making some extra income. But I'm not so sure it's about, she wanted to get in shape, she wanted to do something different. She wanted to help her husband get in shape because it, it mattered to her. And now she's making a few dollars off of it. And maybe one day it's a big business and people are negative, people are saying, no, nah, it's, it's just one of those businesses where you can't make any money and you lose money. She doesn't care, it consumes her. It consumes her. The thought of helping, the thought of getting in shape, the thought of helping other people get in shape has consumed her. It has boiled inside of her. And now she's making a little business out of it. Good for her. Right? Good for her. But that's the consistent action. I see it every day. See, it's not like she just once in a while. Every day she's on Facebook putting something up about, putting something up about Shakeology, putting something up about being a, being, a, being a coach. Right? She's doing it. It consumes her. It consumes her. So you gotta find what consumes you. Then you then you can't stop thinking about it. But you've let that dream die somewhere along the line. You gotta revive it. You gotta remember what made you excited. Revive it and make it, let it consume let it consume you again. And then go get it. But you just gotta be in the forefront of your mind. Alright? Let those thoughts consume you, those positive thoughts of being successful, of living the life you intended to live, consume you, and then go get it.